Hi, and welcome to another Honeywell video. In this video, we'll define the dip switches of the MPA piano. The dip switch box that we're going to define is the SW1 located on the bottom of the piano. Note on the dip switch box that number one starts on the left and it goes all the way to number 10 on the right. The on is on the top and off is on the bottom. Dip switch number one defines how the reader mode is going to be set. If off, the reader is going to work with vegan and if on, it will work in OSDP. Dip switch number two is for future use and it's not used at the moment. Dip switch number three is to define if the panel is going to be a primary panel or a secondary panel. If off, it's going to be a secondary panel. If on, it's going to be a primary panel. Dip switch number four defines if you're going to use the default IP address or if you're going to use a configured IP address. Set it to on to configure the default IP address into the panel. Dip switches five through nine configure the addresses on the MPA panel. Note that to define address number one, you would need to configure dip switch number nine on and everything else off. If you want address number two, configure dip switch number eight on and everything else off. The addressing of the panel follow a binary standard. Lastly, dip switch number 10 configures reader number two configuration settings. If off, it will define the reader as a vegan format. And if on, it will define the reader as an OSDP. Remember that if you make any changes on the dip switches, you would need to power cycle the panel for this changes to take effect. For more information and videos, visit our webpage honeywelldiscovertraining.com.